What is up, gamers? The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out the latest news of the day. Have you ever thought about if some of the things that we encounter in video games, if they could be brought over to the real world, whether it would be a good thing or a bad thing? Take, for instance, the aimbot. Uh, if any of you have ever uh, encountered this, you probably have never forgotten it because it's one of the most annoying things you can possibly uh, encounter. And for those of you who don't know what an aimbot is, uh, what it is, is is some people have programs or, or have modified the games or whatever where every time they look down the scope and pull the trigger, it auto hits their target. So it's an auto kill or at least an auto hit. And y you might think, you know, that's something that you would never see in the real world. But I just got done reading about a product that totally caught me by surprise. And this is uh, I, by far the craziest thing that I've read uh, today. I'm reading about this rifle. It's it's by a company called Tracking Point. And this thing looks like it's something right out of Halo. Like, I'm not even really a big gun lover. Like, I live in the South, so everybody here has guns. They shoot them for sports uh, and, and targeting and all that other stuff. So I'm comfortable around guns, but I'm not like a big gun buff. Like, I'm, I'm not going to argue about what's better or whatever. Uh, but this thing looks exactly like something you would see like again out of halo you just have to see it but what this thing does is freaking incredible and and scary at the same time what it does is basically makes you a a sharpshooter really with you're a sniper with this weapon uh this scope what it does is you can laser target uh a target out up to 1,200 yards, and for those of you who have trouble imagining, you know how many yards uh, that would be. A, a football field is 100 yards, so we're talking 1,200 yards. You can laser target a a something, whether it's moving, whether it's an animal, I guess, whether it's a human, uh, whatever it is that you want to target. It, it can be on the go. And this thing will not let you pull the trigger unless you have a super high probability of hitting that target. That is crazy. And uh, the things that it takes into account is just unreal. Uh, let me pull it up right here. It, it takes into account the range, the temperature, the mar uh, barometric uh, pressure, uh, the drift, the wind, the incline. It takes a look at all that, calculates it, and will not let you pull the trigger until it thinks that you're going to hit the target. And so this basically turns anybody into a sharpshooter. It says even if you're a complete noob, you've never used a gun before, you can use this targeting system, and you're, you're going to have a super high probability of hitting your target. Unreal, right? It, it's it's a human aimbot is what it is. Uh, this thing also has Wi-Fi built into it. Uh, it comes actually with an iPad mini, they say. Uh, and it'll actually uh, take video footage of what you're seeing and send it to your group or whatever that you're with. Or you can send it back home, I don't know, or save it on your phone. Uh, but as you take the shot, it takes video and sound and takes pictures and it takes it after the shot has been made like it's, it's just crazy it's something like you would think would be in the far future but it's out and it's about to hit uh the store shelves where regular everyday customers uh can get a hold of this and it comes as an entire package uh but for any of those uh for any of those or any of you gun buffs out there who might be interested in this this might be something you want to save up for for a few years uh before you ask for it for christmas because it's got a twenty two thousand dollar price tag on the weapon itself but i'm going to leave links in the description box so you can go check out the video and also the news stories uh about this weapon and uh, check it out for yourself let me know in the comment section do you think the human aimbot is a good thing or a bad thing because just think in, in the right hands police would be a lot better because i think i read where uh the police have a, a current hit rate of like three out of ten shots like it was it was bad like i don't want to be anywhere near a cop gun fight uh whenever it breaks out uh so anyway this could help improve uh cops ability to hit their target but also uh some crazy madman out there uh he gets a hold of one of these and he could become a a very deadly killer 
who does not miss his targets. So let me know what you think about this. It also mentions that you can place a password on it uh, to turn off that auto targeting if you so desire. Uh, so I guess that would keep people from, uh, I guess, making sure that they hit hit the shot uh, if they're not the uh, the owner of the weapon. But anyway, there you go. Halo weapon right there. Crazy. Check it out. Links are in the description box. If you want to hear more, be sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and you get the latest news and technology. And that does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.